In this numerical, you have to test that whether the function is a PDF, that is a probability density function. And if so, then you have to determine the probability falls in between 1 and 2. And for 0 to minus, minus infinity to 0, it is 0. So this red line indicates the value x less than 0. And e to the power 0 is exactly equals to 1. So it rises like this. So this one is e to the power 0 is equal to 1. And then as the value of x will increase, the value will decrease. So this is exactly your function. That is the density function. And it will continue up to infinity plus infinity. So whether this is possible PDF or not that you can check using the properties. That is the area under this graph must equal to 1. So it has basically started from minus infinity to 0 fx dx plus second value that this value is equal to 0 here then second value start from 0 to plus infinity fx dx we have to check this value is equal to 1 or not so from minus infinity to 0 that is x less than 0 your function value is equal to 0 so integral is also equals to 0 that is this value plus integral for x greater than 0 that is from 0 to infinity we have e to the power minus x for x greater than 0 multiplied by dx. So integral of e to the power minus x is minus of e to the power minus x from 0 to infinity. And this answer is 1 that you can check out. And since the area come out to be equal to 1, so this is a possible PDF. So this is well defined probability density function. In the second part, we are interested to find out what is the probability between 1 and 2. So exactly we want to know what is the area between 1 and 2. So you have to calculate the area from x equal to 1 to x equal to 2. Whether including or excluding doesn't matter for this. This is basically open bracket means excluding. But even we have a square bracket also, our answer will not change for continuous random. Since it's open interval, we have probability of 1 less than x less than 2 is equal to. So this time limit of integral is from 1 to 2. And we have x greater than 0. Function is defined as e to the power minus x dx. So integral of this one is minus of e to the power minus x from 1 to 2. So we have minus e to the power minus 2 minus of e to the power minus 1. You can solve this one and your answer is 0.232 that is 23.2 percent so this is how you have to solve the continuous random variable so in this question we are given the f of x equal to k into 5x minus 2x square for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 and we want to find out the probability of x greater than 1 so first of all we'll try to find out the value of k so we have integral property here minus infinity to f of x dx must equals to 1 that is the area for under the whole curve must equal to 1 now since it is only defined for 0 to 2 we will only take this limit that is 0 to 2 we have f of x equals to k 5 x minus 2 x square dx equals to 1 and we can solve this so k can be taken common integral of 5 x is 5 x square by 2 minus 2 by 3 x cube and limit is from 0 to 2 and this value is equals to 1 so we can solve for k here and you confirm this value is equal to 0.214 without graph also we can solve this problem for p probability of x greater than 1 and our range is valid only for 0 to 2 so probability of x greater than 1 is as good as probability of 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 whether inclusive or exclusive doesn't matter for us in continuous random variable to solve this probability we have integral from 1 to 2 we already know the value of k that is 0.214 into 5x minus 2x square into dx so solve this 0.214 can be taken common Integral of 5x we have just find out is 5x square divided by 2 minus 2 by 3 x cube. But this time limit is from 1 to 2. Just substitute for x equal to 2 and then 1 and solve this. Your answer will be very close to 17 by 28. 
confirm this answer. In the next problem, we are given the probability density function. This is a continuous. You have to find out the percentage probability from minus 1 by 3 less than x less than equal to 1 by 3. And this range is very well defined from minus 1 to 1. Now this time we will directly find out. So required probability minus 1 by 3 less than equal to x less than equal to 1 by 3 equal to integral minus 1 by 3 from limit minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3 x square dx. Recall that x square is a even function because it is symmetric about the y axis. Is it an upward parabola? Like this. So we take the advantage of even function. And what we find here is that minus 1 by 3 is on this side and 1 by 3 on this side. So the area under this graph will be same as area under this graph. So instead of taking limit from minus 1 by 3 to 1 by 3, we will make it two times from 0 to 1 by 3 x square dx because of even function. This is two times x cube divided by 3. Limit is from 0 to 1 by 3. That can be solved is 2 divided by 81 that will be very close to 0 0.0247 or 2.47 percent. In this question we are given the f of t in two interval one is from minus 1 to 0 and second is from 0 to 1 and we want to calculate standard deviation. So for standard deviation we required first the value of mu. Remember that for discrete is defined as sigma x into fx and for continuous it will be sigma is replaced by integral it is same as x into fx into dx. So first we have to try for mu value. This question is appeared in gate examination. So first we will try for mu. So we have mu equal to integral. Now it is defined for two intervals so we will take two intervals separately. The first interval is from minus 1 to 0 and for this our function is 1 plus t. So this time x is replaced by t. So it is t multiplied by f of t is 1 plus t into dt plus integral. Second limit is from 0 to 1. t multiplied by f of t is 1 minus t multiplied by dt. So if you expand this we will get integral t plus t square dt plus t minus t square dt. So integrating this we will get t square divided by 2 plus t cube by 3 and limit are from minus 1 to 0 plus t square by 2 minus t cube by 3 limit from 0 to 1. So you put this value and what you observe here is that mu equal to 0. So I keep it up to you to find out the value of mu. So mu value is equal to 0. Now recall that variance is given as x minus mu square of it multiplied by f of x. So we have variance equal to t minus mu whole square multiplied by f of t multiplied by dt. But value of mu is 0. So we have integral t square into f of t into dt. So this integral we have to again solve for two steps. 1 is from minus 1 to 0 t square into 1 plus t dt plus integral 0 to 1. So t square into 1 actually 1 minus t into dt. So we have t cube by 3 plus t cube integral is t to the power 4 by 4 from minus 1 to 0 plus when t square is multiplied by 1 we get t square integral of t square is t cube by 3 t square minus t is t cube is t to the power 4 by 4 limit is from 0 to 1 you can solve this value and you get a variance of this one is 1 by 6 and we are interested in the standard deviation so standard deviation will be equals to under root of 1 by 6 that is the answer sometimes simple question is asked in gate examination figure is given to you what is the value of alpha so in this case the area of this graph must equal to 1 and remember the base is equal to is basically c only a plus c minus a is c only and we have a property here that the area under the graph must equal to 1. So we have integral fx dx is always equals to 1. Now this is a standard triangle. 
so for triangle we have 1 by 2 height is alpha and the base is c is equal to 1 so you can very well calculate alpha so we have alpha is equal to 2 by c that is the choice a sometimes tricky question is asked we are given here probability density function and this is a continuous function that you can observe and you want to find out the value at x equal to 1 for a continuous random variable we can't find out the probability at x equal to 1 because your limit is from 1 to 1 so 1 to 1 integral is 1 to 1 fx dx that answer is always equal to 0 it's a very tricky question